What exactly is Barnard's star? And will it collide with our sun? Are we on the verge of colliding with Barnard's star? Barnard's star is a red dwarf star in the constellation Alpheucus, around six light years from our solar system. It is named for Edward Emerson Barnard, an American astronomer who found its high proper motion in 1916. There has been discussion in recent years over whether Barnard's star would collide with our sun. We will look at the properties of Barnard's star, its finding history, and current study on this star. Barnard's star, one of the nearest stars to our solar system, has enthralled astronomers and space enthusiasts for decades. But what exactly is this enigmatic star, and could it constitute a threat to our own? Join us as we delve into the science underlying Barnard's star and consider the possibility of a collision that might affect the entire solar system. Hello and welcome to Z. Subscribe and follow us. Barnard's Star Characteristics Barnard's star has a mass of around 0.17 solar masses and a radius of roughly 0.2 solar radii. It is around one-sixth the size of our sun and has a surface temperature of around 3,100 Kelvin, making it substantially cooler than the sun. This star is also noted for having a high proper motion, which means that it moves fast across the sky in comparison to other stars. Astronomers have intensively examined Barnard's star, and its features have been utilized to make crucial discoveries regarding red dwarf stars. Red dwarfs, for example, have been discovered to be far more abundant in the galaxy than other types of stars. They also have significantly longer lifetimes than larger stars such as the Sun Barnard star is one of the closest red dwarf stars to us, therefore it provides an excellent opportunity to examine these stars in greater depth. Discovery of Barnard Star Edward Emerson Barnard discovered Barnard Star in 1916. Barnard was a talented astronomer who contributed much to our understanding of the universe. Throughout his career, he discovered numerous comets, stars, and nebulae. Barnard discovered Barnard Star because it had a very high proper motion, which meant it moved fast across the sky. This made it difficult to identify and observe, but Barnard was able to locate it using his experience in astronomy photography. In the decades since Barnard's discovery, astronomers have continued to study this star and learn more about its features. Barnard's star was determined to have a very significant proper motion in 1963, making it an ideal target for researching the effects of stellar parallax. This method includes measuring the apparent shift in the position of a star as the Earth orbits the Sun astronomers were able to precisely measure the distance to Barnard's star by employing this method. Astronomers continued to examine Barnard's star in the years that followed, employing a range of techniques like his radial velocity measurements and photometry. These research shed light on the features of this star and helped scientists better comprehend red dwarf stars in general. The Prospect of a Collision with the Sun One of the most fascinating mysteries about Barnard's star is whether or not it will collide with our Sun. In recent years, there has been significant debate about this possibility, but the likelihood of a collision is exceedingly low. A star colliding with our Sun may seem far-fetched, but it is not completely implausible. In reality, there is evidence that similar collisions have occurred in the past and may occur in the future. However, the chances of Barnard's star colliding with our Sun are extremely remote. To begin, it is critical to understand that stars are constantly traveling across space. Our Sun is likewise moving, and it is now orbiting the Milky Way galaxy center at a speed of around 220 kilometers per second. Barnard's star is also traveling, and it is now going in the opposite direction as our Sun. The two stars are not on a collision trajectory and are unlikely to collide anytime soon. Second, the likelihood of a star colliding with another star is extremely low. Stars are exceedingly distant from one another, and the possibility of two stars colliding is quite unlikely. Even if Barnard's star and our sun were on a collision trajectory, the likelihood of a collision occurring is extremely low. 
Finally, even if Barnett Star and our sun collided, the repercussions would not be as disastrous as one might expect. Stars are essentially empty space, and when two stars crash, the chances of the planets surrounding them being destroyed are low. The orbits of the planets in both systems are likely to be modified, but no planets are anticipated to be destroyed. Exoplanet, Barnard Star B However, Barnard Star research is still significant for other reasons. It gives scientists a unique opportunity to study red dwarf stars, the most common form of star in the galaxy. Red dwarfs are known to have a high percentage of Earth-sized planets, and the finding of Barnard Star B, for example, has prompted additional research into whether this star may have habitable planets circling it. In 2018, astronomers announced the finding of Barnard Star B, a candidate planet orbiting Barnard Star that is thought to be a cold, rocky planet with a mass roughly three times that of Earth. While this planet is not habitable, its discovery is significant since it is one of the closest exoplanets to our solar system and provides an opportunity to research the features of rocky planets outside our solar system. The Red Dwarfs Furthermore, examining Barnard Star can reveal information about the features of red dwarf stars, which are noted for their flares and other activity. So, what exactly are red dwarfs? Red dwarf stars are the most common form of star in the Milky Way galaxy, accounting for roughly 70% of all stars. These stars are smaller and cooler than other types of stars like the Sun, with masses ranging from 0.08 to 0.5 times that of the Sun red dwarfs, despite their modest size, can survive for trillions of years, making them some of the universe's longest living things. Red dwarfs acquire their name from their look, which is reddish. This is because they emit the majority of their light in the infrared range rather than the visible spectrum. Red dwarfs are also known as M dwarfs because their spectra classify them as type M stars. The habitable zones of red dwarfs are one of their most intriguing characteristics. A star's habitable zone is the region surrounding it where the temperature is just right for liquid water to exist on a planet's surface. Red dwarfs have substantially tighter habitable zones than other types of stars because they are smaller and cooler. Indeed, some red dwarfs have habitable zones so close to the star that a planet in this zone might orbit the star in a matter of days. Despite the possibility of habitable planets surrounding red dwarf stars, these stars pose certain problems. Red stars are known to be highly changeable, with periodic flares and other activity that can injure planets in their habitable zones. Furthermore, red dwarfs have significantly lower energy output than other types of stars, which implies that any planets in their habitable zones would have to be much closer to the star in order to receive enough energy for life to survive. Astronomers can learn more about the behavior of stars like Barnard Star and how it affects the possibility of habitable planets orbiting them by analyzing its activity. Popular Culture Barnard Star has a distinct place in popular culture in addition to its scientific relevance. It has been mentioned in a number of science fiction works, including the novel The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and the television series Star Trek. In the episode The Loss of Star Trek, The Next Generation, the Enterprise was ordered to examine a phenomenon near Barnard Star that caused the ship's crew to lose their sense of direction. Barnard Star is also mentioned in the episode Thine Own Self as the site of a faraway planet where a horrible virus wiped out an entire civilization. City Because it is one of the closest stars to our solar system and hence a potential target for SETI, search for extraterrestrial intelligence, projects, the star has also been the topic of discussion concerning the possibility of extraterrestrial life. In 1960, astronomer Frank Drake utilized radio astronomy, a newly invented method, to look for signals from intelligent life beyond Earth. The Green Bank Telescope in West Virginia was used for the experiment, known as Experiment Ozma, and one of the objectives was Barnard Star. Regrettably, no signals were discovered. 
Since then, Barnett Star has been the target of several further city searches, including the City Institute's Project Phoenix, which scanned the star for signals using the Arecibo Observatory. While none of these investigations have yielded definitive evidence of alien life, the persistent interest in Barnett Star indicates its potential as a target for future research. Barnard Star is a fascinating object of research for astronomers and a topic of public attention. Its discovery over a century ago by Edward Emerson Barnard represented a significant milestone in the study of stars, and its features have continued to provide crucial insights into the behavior of red dwarf stars. While the chances of a collision with our sun are exceedingly remote, Barnett star research is essential because it has the ability to disclose the features of exoplanets and the behavior of red dwarf stars. As technology advances, it is probable that we will discover more about this star and the mysteries of the universe it can help us solve. What do you think guys, is there anything we left out? Tell us in the comments and don't forget to subscribe.